Welcome to first grade math lesson. Today's lesson objective is order whole numbers up to 120 using place value and open number lines. Let's go over the content vocabulary words. Order to sequence a given set of numbers from least to greatest or greatest to least. Open number line. A number line with no numbers or tick marks. Least is the smallest amount. Greatest is the largest amount. Our task is to order 105, 112, and 91 on an open number line using place value. Then list the numbers from least to greatest. We're going to represent our numbers using base tens blocks and this hundred tens and ones place value chart. 105 has three digits. 100 has the same value as one flat. Zero tens mean there's nothing there, so we're going to leave the tens place value uh, box empty. There are five ones, which has the same value as five cubes. One, two, three, four, and five. 112 has three digits. We're going to represent 100 using one flat and one tens has the same value as one rod. And we're going to represent two tens, two ones, using two cubes. One, two. 91 has two digits. That means it has nothing in the hundreds place. We're going to leave that box empty. We're going to represent nine tens with nine rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones has the same value as one cube. We're going to use this open number line to display our numbers. Remember that the number lines will always go from the least to the greatest. When we compare numbers, start with the largest place value first, which is the hundredth place value. For 105, we see 100. For 112, we see 100. For 91, we see 0 100. That means 91 is the least amount. So we can bring 91 to the first place on the number line. Now we look back at 105 and 112. Both of them have both of them have one hundredths. That does not help us compare which one has more and which one has less. So we can cross the hundredth, hundredths place out and move on to the tens place. 105 has zero tens and 112 has one tens. That means 105 is fewer than 112. Therefore, 105 will go next on the number line. The num number 112 is the only number that's left and that will be the greatest value out of the three.
Next step, we are going to list our numbers in order from least to greatest. Since the number line is arranged from least to greatest already, we're going to write down the number in the same exact order as they are appear on the number line. 91 is the least. The next number is 105. And the last number, which is the greatest one, is 112. If, if place value is a, is a skill that you are still uh, working on, you can also use your 120 chart to help you check your answer. The 120 chart is arranged from least to greatest. So you start with one, which is the least. And as you go down the 120 chart, you end up with the largest value, which is 120. So I'm going to use this star right here to mark all three numbers that were given uh, in our task. I see 105. I'm going to mark 105. The next number I'm going to mark is 112. And the last one I see is 91. So I'm going to mark 91 as well. Then I'm going to go to go back from the very top and I will travel down the 120 chart until I see the first number, which is 91. Since the 120 chart is arranged from least to greatest, the first number that I see will be the least amount. So 91 will go in the first place. And then I continue from 91 going down the 120 chart. The next number I see is 105. So 105 is the next number that's going to be on this number pattern. And after 105, I continue to travel down the 120 chart. And the last number I see is 112. That means 112 would be the largest value out of the three. And here is my number patterns that was ordered from least to greatest, 91, 105, 112. We are going to end this lesson with the exit ticket below. It says, Mrs. Walter counted blue, green, and yellow crayons in her desk. Plot these numbers on an open number line, then list the numbers from least to greatest. Use base 10 blocks to show your work. Thank you for watching the video lesson and I'll see you in the next video.